known as, as Charlie, Charlie the King. King. <laughs> I'm about that. And we're going to go in this game. Of course, he's got our 1-1 apiece. Uh, looks like Larry's going to throw. What is happening? Kong. Oh, yeah. We're going to we're playing some games today. I feel like people are just hang out all the characters. It almost looks like Larry definitely lost the jump. Yes, he's trying, trying to DI up and away. Down and away does work when it comes to those fairs, but yeah. Every time I see Larry get fared, it always reminds me of the time when Salem uh, beat him with like 6%. Because one of our lo uh, local Bayonetta fans told Larry to DI the wrong way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was actually the man. Bam, please say the story really fast. Yeah. Yeah, this, I'm so, not even going to interrupt. Yes. So basically, of course, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> he so just told him to go down and in. And then, so of course, Larry goes out, goes against Salem. <laughs> Gets absolutely destroyed, and literally he comes home and he's just like, "Yeah, man." So they told me to just go like, "I'll just go like, I'll, I'll just di down, down and away." It. And I was like, oh, "Down in it." Yeah, you know. I was like, "Wait, what are you talking yeah. about?" And he's like, "Yeah." So he, he's like, "Austin told me that's the way to go," and I'm like, "Why would he tell you that? Did he want you to die?" And then he talked to. What's the name of the player? You actually put him on blast? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I thought you just said it. I heard it. Exactly. I started with the name. Found it. Well, go back in the vods, baby. All right. <laughs> anyway, but here it is. Charlie, right now dealing with the dealing with the Diddy Kong, you know, and mm -hmm. it, it's definitely a common character that we've seen people bust out. I remember at Shine there were a lot of people that were just pulling out their Diddy Kongs to see how it would fare against the Bayonettas. I wouldn't be surprised if we have more Diddies with the sudden rise of the Bayonettas in the bracket. Oh, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a character in general uh, causes a lot of stalemates, which is great, uh, and of course has. You know, that short hop fair is always going to be explosive. It's always going to be a tool to really stop any kind of oppression or pressure that you're going to see from a Bayonetta. Yeah, Larry Lee right now just hopping straight for the edge. And Charlie looking like he's going for an up smash interrupted by the monkey flip grab. Yeah, so for those of you who have never seen uh, Charlie play before, I mean, this guy has definitely been a presence in SoCal for quite some time. Uh, mainly a, you know, a Fox main, but of course uh, he's going to bring this Bayonetta out because of course Larry Larry being the best Fox in himself, these guys usually don't want to go through the ditto. Exactly. Nice right there, not getting caught by any tick throw setups, that jab to grab, looking for a... Oh, I wonder if he was looking for a rollback. Yeah, in right. Event. Okay, didn't, didn't quite follow the drift. Probably expected Charlie to use a special move upon landing. Yeah. I like that by Larry. Oh, and uh, that with it, that. Okay. <laughs> This is the test case right doing it. Yeah. <laughs> just keep doing it. He was it. like, can I just get a KO? Yeah. Can I get a KO? KO. KO. Can but I get a KO? It didn't quite happen. Oh, there yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. Just keep it up. That's <laughs> the down tilt to the up smash right there. And we have Walks the off. third game right there. Yeah. Larry Lear 2 1. So far, over you know, every time I see someone walk off at yes, Final Destination, it always reminds me of Sonic 2, man. You know, it's it was Sonic 2, in the end, you're in the Robotnik space station and you run off. <laughs> Bam, you might be ruining the game for oh, some. Oh, well, not yeah, plot twist. Sorry. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm one of those people that takes forever to beat a lot of different games because of the fact that. Oh, I did I ruin it events. for you? Oh, no, I beat, I, beat, I beat that game. No spoilers for me. But. I'm a big proponent of the uh, hashtag no spoilers. Oh, well. You're apparently, I've one of a lot of those hashtags, so good for you. All right, so here we go, guys. Game four. Larry Lerr, Reppin' Misfits versus Charlie. Guys, he is a free agent. Very good player. Right back? Yeah. Oh, the Fox is back. Makes me happy to see. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know. His Diddy was actually cool, too. I, I, I miss Diddy, man. Hey, Zero, can you bring back Diddy? Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> can you bring him back? <laughs> I miss you. All right, Big E, where you at? Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Good stuff. Okay, I love that about Larry. You saw he went for the jabs, right? Yep. A lot of times, players, when you hit them with the move that sends them in the air, see, and now he has you, yeah, just wait go. for the jump. Yeah, down and away. <laughs> that worked out. But yeah, I um, really like to see the way he uh, approaches this matchup because a lot of foxes do tell me that they find this really difficult. Mm -hmm. With good reason. I mean, oh, yeah. wait, are you good? Yeah, Even yeah. Bayonetta falls for us that. <laughs> it don't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. He doesn't discriminate. He's an nope. equal opportunity, fair footstooler. What a good guy. <laughs> you know, all life, everything's fair. What, what a beautiful world to live in, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they try to put him on the plat. Did you land there? He says. No. Nope. <laughs> Just me narrating right yeah, here. Right. <laughs> the fox says. The, the fox says. says. <laughs> Goes for the doctor. <laughs> And waits. And continues to jab constantly. <laughs> Always brush on his moment. And here we have a potential ledge drop situation. And there you have it, folks. What? <laughs> a splendid back air to close out the sock. Splendid indeed. Indubitably. Indubitably. 
All right, well, of course, trying to see if he can make his way into the top eight. You know, tough situation right here for Charlie. I was going to call him the king, but, you know, right now, he uh, obviously doesn't want to be regarded as a man of royalty. He's like, could you take me as I am or don't take me at all? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> You're going up, though? You're going high? Yeah, good stall there with the shine, and he's going to go through. And I love this. Now you get some ledge pressure. Good DI as well. He'd rather just take those tech chase situations so he yeah. could mix up. Okay, and that's just to get back on stage. Not an aerial illusion, but he's still okay until Charlie managed to throw him back off. I just want to see Larry just run up and up smash. But um, you don't want your boy to keep a stop. No. Okay, now you could now you could ask him to do it he, because uh, apparently Charlie's at 103. Do you want to see that? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, you're silly. So here we go. And now, no punish. Okay, now we're going back to this ledge here again. Oh, oh so. Well, and here's what Bam wanted to see, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He wanted to see his boy. <laughs> uh, 29, man. <laughs> 29, Bam. 29%. No! Yeah, he's gone. That's the end of the line. And just like that, that is not what you want to do in quarterfinals. Yes. And I love how Larry is so calm and collected about that one.